In this video we will take a look at the Vigo C8, a sturdy, almost unsinkable coastal explorer that offers exceptional handling and fantastic sea keeping. The last time I got this much airtime was when I was serving in the Royal Navy aboard the aircraft carrier HMS Invincible. <music> Guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how quickly we can get to 50,000 subscribers. One of the first things to point out about this aluminium boat is that it is handmade and there's around 1,800 man hours going to build in each one of these strong boats and that Vigo has made over 250 of them and produces around 35 units each year. You will immediately notice just how much space there is in the bow of the boat with a good amount of storage space. This sturdy door enables quick, safe access to the bow from inside the boat and can easily be operated with just one hand. I really like the toughened glass, especially the window's forward raking angle. In the winter, a four kilowatt diesel heater can quickly defrost the windows due to the internal vents directed towards the window panes. On the roof you'll notice two openings which are opened and closed with just the flick of a switch. They provide excellent ventilation throughout the boat. Believe it or not the windows on this boat are polar bear rated. On the aft section of the coach roof are two 38 watt solar panels and the radar mast that houses the Simrad solid state Doppler radar, Simrad GPS antenna and a large LED searchlight. This solar powered extractor fan can be left in automatic mode when needed. There are two of them, this one on the starboard side and another one on the port side. On this Vigo C8 the owner has opted for a Mercury Verado 300 horsepower engine but Vigo also offers a 450 Verado racing outboard or the newly released 500 horsepower Verado racing engine. The 300 horsepower outboard gives a top speed of just over 50 knots but with the 500 horsepower outboard fitted, then you can expect that top end to nudge towards 70 knots. She has enough capacity for 350 litres of fuel, and when powering along at 28 knots, she burns just over one litre of fuel per minute. With a beam stretching to 2.3 metres and a total weight inclusive of the engine standing at 1,900 kilograms, this vessel manages to stay both roomy and lightweight. Remarkably, she maintains a minimal draft of just 0.6 metres, complemented by a hull featuring a dead rise angle of 24 degrees. Further reinforcing her capabilities, she carries a CE Category C rating, permitting comfortable and safe voyages with up to six people on board. Personally, I'd be happy to take this out in anything up to a Galfor 7. The Mercury Active trim tabs on this boat are huge and give an incredibly responsive ride when you are motoring at high speed through various sea states. The hydraulic steering on this boat is incredibly responsive. The refill cap for the 350 litre fuel tank is located to starboard on the inboard side. At least on this vessel, you won't have to worry about losing the filler cap over the side. This black box allows the owner to keep tabs on the boat when it is not in use via an app that costs just £15 a year. The Smart Boat One app relays lots of essential information to the owner, including bilge and air temperature, bilge pump and water levels, and GPS location data. The heater on the boat can also be started remotely so it's nice and warm when you arrive with your friends and family. Heading inside the space is very comfortable with ample room for a boat of this size. The large windows give a great view all around the boat which is essential for anyone who will be operating this vessel on their own. The overhead construction integrates sound damping material which offers dual functionality. Firstly it suppresses noise levels within the cabin and secondly, the material contributes to the boat's thermal efficiency. Moving forward, the suspension seat at the navigator's and helm's position ensure that your back isn't taking the shock from powering through the waves at nearly 50 knots. On the helm position, we have the controls for the electric bow thruster, the heater, a rechargeable holder for your mobile phone, and the stick control levers for the trim tabs, a Simrad multifunction display, and the electronic fuel gauge. I had the pleasure of being at the helm of this vessel for a decent amount of time 
during some rapid navigation in some gnarly sea states. And I must say the overall position and the comforts of this helm position is fantastic. Looking towards the stern we find some additional seating for passengers. Another seat can be quickly added to this seating arrangement and could be used as an impromptu berth if you want to get your head down for a couple of hours. If you want to turn this area into a more social arrangement, you can fit a small table in this area and a fridge if you want to. But what do you think of this area? Let me know in the comments below. It's also worth pointing out that both the helm's position and the navigator's position have these handy footstools and of course plenty of grab rails so you can really anchor yourself into the seats as you're powering through the waves. Another feature that really stood out to me on this Vigo C8 is just how accessible the electrics are on this boat. I also really like the fact that Vigo provides you with the correct spanner and of course somewhere to keep it stowed. I'll be uploading a second video to my other channel Boat Boy that talks a bit more about some of my favourite features on this boat. You can find the link to that channel in the description below this video. Whilst we're down here we'll also check out how easy it is to get to the fuse boxes underneath the helm position. The last thing you want to be doing when you're manning this boat on your own is having to take off covers to get to the fuse panel if a fuse should happen to blow whilst you're out at sea. Down here we also find a kill cord and a fire extinguisher. If you need a fire extinguisher for your boats then be sure to check out my maritime store. You'll find the link for that in the description below the video. The bright LED trim indicators are a very handy feature on this boat. When you're powering along at nearly 50 knots a quick glance down onto the controls is all you need to know where you are in terms of your trim. In front of the helm position you get a really good view of the numerous vents that provide lots of fresh air into the cabin as and when you need it. The VHF radio on this boat is located where both the skipper and the navigator can get access to it as and when needed. Let me know in the comments below if you're familiar with the Vigo range of boats. I was really interested to find out that this is currently the only C8 in the UK although another C8 will be joining this one in the near future. The gas damped door is very easy to operate and can be open and shut with just one hand. Within just a matter of seconds the door can be shut and you can seek refuge from the elements inside the practical and cosy cabin. On the port side is the filler cap for the diesel tank that feeds the onboard heater. Most of the time you will be moving from the inside to the outside of the boat via the door but if you need to get access to for example the marina from the side decks then for added safety there's plenty of non-slip finishes on the side decks and there are also plenty of grab rails located all around the boat. One of the good things about having a door that opens upwards instead of outwards is that when you've got guests in the bow their knees aren't going to be knocked by the opening of the door. Although the owner of this boat has not opted for one you can get a windlass fitted if you want. There is ample space for all of your anchor chain as well. Head to the link at the bottom of the video description if you're interested in finding out more about optional extras. The shallow draft on the boat is ideal for beaching with a bow ladder making it easy to board and get off the boat without getting wet. There's plenty of stowage compartment for fenders and I really like this seating arrangement out here as well with opposing port and starboard seats. Let's head back inside the cabin because I want to show you the mechanism for closing and securing this door. Once back inside the cosy cabin you can easily reach the handle that is used to pull the door into the shut position. Thanks to the gas struts you don't need to have arms the size of Popeye to shut the door. Once the door is closed you just turn these two levers to keep everything secure. Incorporating thoughtful design elements Vigo has integrated a glass V into the vessel's door amplifying the overall aesthetic appeal of the boat. In my opinion the C8's modern styling exhibits an almost timeless quality that navigates beyond the conventional ensuring its design relevance persists well into the future. For me this is an embodiment of the forward thinking design philosophy typically seen in high quality vessels of this caliber. One question I did ask Simon the owner of this boat is if Vigo offer a walk around version of the C8 but they don't and I can see why. With the setup of the side decks as they are you don't really need it. Another thing that I want to point out is the fact that this vessel is virtually unsinkable. Even in the unlikely event of the hull being breached 
the boat is still going to float thanks to the buoyancy that has been built into the hull. Spending the day on this boat was a bit of a bittersweet experience for me. Of course, the sweet side of things was being able to spend the day on an amazing boat like the C8. The bitter part came at the end of the day when I had to head for home because I am currently boatless and this boat reminded me of just how much fun can be had on a choppy day out on the water. So if you're interested in buying a C8, how much can you expect to pay? Well, if you wanted a C8 fitted with a Mercury V8, then you are looking at around £140,000, including VAT, which I think for a boat of this calibre is incredible value for money. £140,000 is around US dollars or around €162,000 at today's exchange rates. If you wanted the C8 with the Mercury 450R, then the price increases to around £160,000, which is around US dollars or around €185,000. If you're interested in finding out more about this boat, then make sure you click on the link in the bottom of the video description. If you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell because in the next few weeks, I'll be aboard the C10 trying out that. And that is one video you will not want to miss. To stay up to date with when the C10 trial will take place, make sure you come and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the relevant links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Simon, the owner of this boat, for letting me come down for the day and taking me out on the water. I really enjoyed it. Remember, if you have got access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then make sure you get in contact with me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description. And don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with what I'm doing in between filming. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.